Hurricane Ida hit the Gulf Coast as a Category 4. That classification means winds from 130 to 156 miles per hour. As the storm moves further inland, it will continue to pack a punch for many people. Heavy rain and flooding are a continuing concern for residents in many states as Ida continues its path. Fortunately, the Midwest will not feel those effects. Ida um, will not be impacting the Cooley region as it continues to move inland. Um, it looks like it's going to be veering off to the, or the remnants of it are going to be veering off to the northeast and will be more of a problem as you get into the Ohio River Valley and over into the Appalachians um, as it continues to move northeast uh, over the next few days. September 10th is the peak of the Atlantic hurricane season, so the threat for more landfall exists and it's important to remain aware of those storms that could develop an impact the United States.